What's going on, guys? I'm just enjoying, enjoying the day. You know, I'm in a good mood, so I just decided to make another short video. Now, in this channel, I wanted to go toward more of a self-help direction. And uh, when I say self-help, I'm not talking about, like, you know, the fluffy, feel-good self-help that's uh, promoted in, in the commercial market. But there's a lot of information out there that people still haven't really uncovered yet or discovered. And don't get me wrong, a lot of that, uh, what you would call the fluffy self-help rainbow uh, butterfly feel-good self-help, a lot of that stuff is good to a certain extent, but there's still like a lot of uh, information that, that's not really like pushed out there. To the, to the general masses, <clears throat> even though, you know, even though, like, you know, within, like, intellectual circles, they're probably known, like, say, for example, I, I always talk about uh, Arthur Robert Greene, The 48 Laws of Power, The 33 Strategies of War, books, books like that, you know, like, Mastery, <clears throat> that's good information that I always recommend to people. I also uh, recommend uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson, no matter what you think about him, you know. And uh, what comes down to uh, Dr. Dr. Peterson, I understand he gets a lot of criticism. Even I uh, criticize him on a lot of stuff because, you know, he gets criticism <laughs> from the Red Pill people. Uh, Dr. Peterson, he gets criticism <clears throat> from uh, some conservatives. He gets a lot of criticism by, like, you know, different groups of people. But one thing, uh, especially what I said in the video I did, like, a long time ago about Dr. Jordan Peterson. Dr. Jordan Peterson, I kind me personally, I kind of, like, put him in the category of somebody like, um, you, you know, I, it, I'm trying to think about, like, an author. You know, like, I wouldn't call, call him, like, a New Age author. Who's that author who wrote um, The Power of Now? Uh, I can't even think of the guy's name. But, you know, like, the Oprah Book Club kind, kind of authors. Uh, I think Wayne Dyer's another one. I think that's his name. People like that. I kind of, like, put Dr. Jordan Peterson in that category of people. And I think what happened was when Dr. Jordan Peterson got popular, a lot of people who are conservative, a lot of people on the right, they claimed Dr. Peterson as their own because what he, because of uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson's stance on the whole trans thing and the pronouns and compelled speech, you know, that really like brought him to the spotlight, and plus his criticism on feminism. And uh, I think a lot of people in the right wing, hey, he's one of us. You know, they're like, hey, he's one of us. But technically, Dr. Peterson, Dr. Peterson never claimed to be right wing in the first place. And I think Dr. Peterson, he's just like, he's just Jordan Peterson. He's just an intellectual, you know, in his own right, in his own category. So when it comes down to when it comes down to uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson, I take what I can use. And the stuff that I can't use, I just discard it, you know. And also, uh, we'll come down to other authors I would recommend. Um, go back, uh, read like Frederick Nietzsche. Go back and read uh, Ma uh, Machiavelli. Uh, of course, uh, Ayn Rand, one of my personal favorites. And, uh, and a whole bunch of, author whole bunch of other uh, authors that I, that I like to recommend that uh and actually i made like some videos a while back about like like some books i've read but i consider that like the real self-help you know even i i even go as far as say like anton LaVey. no matter what you think about him he, he, his book is really good you know his material is really good too because he kind of like puts together uh what nietzsche wrote with iron iron ran uh, the book called Might is Right, which is a controversial book, very rare book to find, and in, in some other material he put all together to formulate his philosophy. You know, and uh, <clears throat> of course, The Art of War by Sun Tzu, that's a good book to get. But but that's like, and, uh, 
I mean, there's so many authors. Like, I'm finna start reading, uh, going back and start looking looking up uh, Robert Anton Wilson, Prometheus Rising. Um, you know, this, like I said, this, but anyway, though, I just uh, want to put that out there. So, a lot of stuff to deal with the politics. I might tap into it every now and then, but I'm kind of like sick and tired of current events. Because one thing about making videos about current events is like, you might make it, you know, like something happens on the news, make a video about it. Then the next day, <laughs> there's going to be some information that's going to totally contradict where you made a video about the day before. Then you got to make another video to update that. And it, it kind of gets uh, redundant, you know what I'm saying? You know, so that's why, if you notice, I don't really deal with politics that much. Not that I, not that I um, have anything against it. It's just uh, time consuming, and plus I don't really keep up with current events like that anymore. So I'm I'm gonna focus more on self help, philosophy, books, uh, self improvement, you know, things of that nature. Even though I, I've already made some videos about that earlier, like a couple months for the last couple of months, but. But anyway, though, I just uh, wanted to like lay that foundation. So from now on, I'm gonna focus on that. And if you have any suggestions, comments, criticisms, feel free to let me know. I accept all negative criticism, positive feedback. You know what I'm saying? Suggestions. Please comment below. Like the video. Dislike the video. Email me. And I would love to hear your input. And 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 after you know, and that's pretty much all I got to say. And make sure you guys stay safe, have a good day. I'm finna head out, get ready to go to work, and peace.